Hello, fellow YouTubers. I'm sorry. Uh, this is DM Blair what are you sorry for? White, you didn't do it. and I am in the car with him, and he is pissed off. <laughs> DM, can you tell us what you're pissed off about? <laughs> well, I'm pissed off because my doctor. I needed an inhaler, right? I need an inhaler. Fine, fair enough. And they set, set me an appointment for Wednesday at 10 o'clock. But, you know what? They're like, oh, well, your doctor would like to see you sooner than that. But we'll get a different doctor to see you 9 a.m. on Monday. So, here I am, 9 o'clock. <coughs> I show up, and they're telling me I don't have an appointment. Who the fuck called me and told me I got an appointment if I don't got an appointment? Right? So, they're bantering back and forth with my wife. And I, I got sick of it. I'm like, I, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna listen to this. I was called and told I have an appointment at 9 a.m. Whether it's in your system or not. Look at your office. Your office is dead. It's like fucking tumbleweeds through the fucking office. Yeah, there's so many people in a hurry to be seen by this shitty fucking doctor that they're just lining up. They're waiting outside, smoking cigarettes to get in. No, there's nobody here anyway. So. I'd like to see your HR director. So the lady comes out. The lady comes out and she takes me back in this waiting room. They're so busy, but there's a wait there's a, there's a there's an exam room open to talk to me. <coughs> so they're busy. Yeah. Well, Mr. Howe, there's been a miscommunication and I'm sitting here in this awesome exam room, you know, because we're so busy and the rooms are so full. There's no way for you to be seen today. I mean, I'm sorry we're so booked up with appointments. And I'm like, lady, I'm sitting in a fucking exam room. Like, where people should be seen by a doctor. Yeah. Well, I'm in the exam room now. Bring the doctor to fuck in here and come see me. No. Well, the miscommunication. Somebody said it. So she takes me out, puts me in a waiting room, and says, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to investigate this. I'll be right back. So what, like six minutes? Yeah. Seven minutes? She goes back out and she goes, Would you like to come with me back to the exam room? Smiling from ear to ear like a pig eating shit. Right? And she's, Well, you were informed of your inhaler on Friday, and that's all that was documented. I said, Yeah, they informed me I would have an inhaler. You're right. But they also informed my wife that at 9 a.m. I needed to be seen by a fucking doctor. In order to get it. In order to get it. Yeah, exactly. In order to get it. Like I'm being strong-armed into getting what the fuck I need to be well. She goes, well, that's not documented. I said, oh. So, like, because it's not documented, it never happened. It's like, she calls me up, she says what she says, and now what she says is like a fucking... Like a fucking fart in the wind now. It's fucking blown over Lake Michigan. It doesn't exist. It's hanging out over there in the cornfield. Waiting for HR director to have it smack her in the fucking face. Because that's the only way she's going to see it. The lady's like, well, it's not documented. So I can't say that it was ever said. Okay. So a lady can call me up and cuss me the fuck out on the phone. And because she didn't document that she cussed me the fuck out, it didn't exist. So the lady's like, well, sir, at this point we're so booked up, which is bullshit. I left that office, there's two people sitting in that fucking waiting room at 9 a.m. They're so fucking booked up. Wow. So it's like, just every fucking, it's anything. It's anything I fucking do. You know, hurry up. It's hurry up and fucking wait, game. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. So now I lost sleep. My fucking day shot. My fucking nerves are on the fucking edge. Now I got, I'm got. i going to drive all the way back and get fucking an inhaler. Which all they had to do is just call me up and say there's a fucking inhaler. How hard was that? Hello, Mr. Howe. Yes. We have your inhaler. You can pick it up on... Yes, yeah, yeah, as possible. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Howe. It's a pleasure serving you. Have a nice night. No. It has to be all this shit. Like, like fucking give me a break. <laughs> So now we are on our way to CVS to pick up an inhaler when it would have been so much more easier to go to CVS because it's much closer than the doctor's office, which we live in 
Mechanicsburg, and the doctor's office is in Carlisle. Yeah, it's like, it's like fucking 14 miles. CVS is right around the corner. I'm just, I just don't get how they get off and then, like, and then, oh, sorry. There's a miscommunication. Miscommunication. Well, I'm not miscommunicating with you, bitch. I'm telling you, I'm pissed off. And I want something fucking done. <coughs> what happens to the person who called me? Well, we don't know who called you, let alone what was said. Okay, DM. Explain to us what you would have liked to do if it was legal. <laughs> if it was legal? I'd, let, I'd like for that lady to come out here and let me fucking rearrange her whole fucking schedule for her. Give me your fucking pocketbook. Get out your fucking scheduler. I'm going to rearrange the fucking things for you, and you're going to fucking deal with it. You're going to have to take days off work for appointments that don't fucking exist. Come on. <laughs> and now he just got cut off yeah. by that car. As if the day yeah, isn't right getting right out of the Here I am going up. <laughs> And I honked, and she turns around and gives me the finger. She cut me off. <laughs> Come on. This is ridiculous. What a fucking day. I'd like to do if it's legal. I'd like to fucking just... <sighs> Punch her. Take now, her. I, don't, I don't want to hurt nobody, but I do want people to fucking understand that I lost, I lost sleep. I lost money. I'm frustrated. Nobody ever understands your feelings, do they, baby? No, because like a fucking fart in the wind, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I'm... Um, oh, it was a miscommunication. Oh, I'm sorry. Miscommunication. <laughs> Maybe we were supposed to call someone else and say that. Well, you fucking ass. Why don't you the number to Like, come on. Well, this is why I wanted to videotape my husband on a day-to-day -day basis showing you the awesome things he does but not only that letting you see that sometimes he has a mild form of Tourette's today was not so bad but sometimes he says off the well, wall because I'm, shit why because I'm tired I'm tired and I just don't do you know what Tourette's are I'm actually at a point I don't I don't I don't know I'm I'm mad but I'm not mad like I usually am because this is I didn't want to see my doctor anyway, so I'm sort of relieved, but God damn it, I don't need to be told to take a half a day off work to come down for an appointment that doesn't exist. That's aggravating. It's aggravating as all get out. The only reason I don't want to see my doctor is because I don't feel good. You know, and I know, <laughs> I know that sounds stupid. You don't feel good, you don't want to see the doctor. No, I don't feel good as in, I'm tired, I'm sluggy, I hurt. You would have rather come in here on your time and not the time rather, they... Well, being told last minute, come in here, versus I can prepare <coughs> myself for Wednesday and deal with it in my terms, in my way, you know? Oh, no, sir. No, sorry. How can we be here at 9 a.m.? I am. Yes. Sharp. Because we're going to make you wait an hour and a half anyway. So why wait an hour and 40 minutes by getting here 10 minutes early? <laughs> You know. Well, I hope that DM Blair has a better day. Probably not, because this is how it is every day with him. Something always upsets him, and then it's hard for him to let it go. Yeah, no, but you. YouTubers, we'll be back on to show you more of DM Blair's life.